Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some of the recent changes to zones and uh, notably how you can create them and how you can manipulate them. So as you probably know already, uh, when you create a zone, you can be using the zone for a mission area, you can be using it for an area that's exclusion, you can do a no navigation zone, and basically creating them is a pretty straightforward process. Usually what you would do is you go down to your keyboard, you press control insert, you press control insert, control insert, you'd click a few times, you drag a big box around here, and you end up with something that looks a little bit like this. After that, of course, uh, we can actually make our zone. So, you know, you come up here, you do your mission thing, you go to area reference points manager. Uh, we create ourselves a pretty standard zone. We take all these, add points highlighted on map. We give it a fun name like Iceland or something along those lines. We come down here if we had to, we could change its color. We can make it a hot pink because, you know, because Iceland. Oh, 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 oh my. Uh, let's uh, t turn that down a little bit there. Okay, that's a little better. Cool. So then you have yourself your zone. And of course, uh, once you've created that, we now can go ahead and grab onto our little reference points and we can do one of these things and we can have it include Reykjavik, which by the way, uh, have, having been there, it looks like the surface of the moon, like this whole entire land when the snow isn't there, it's just like barren. I mean, like if you saw the movie Prometheus, I'm pretty confident there's an alien pyramid on this particular island somewhere. But anyway, so that works out pretty well. Now, the problem when you get to uh, these kinds of zones, uh, when you build them this way, is uh, you always end up with this little thing happening. And uh, people who play this game for any length of time uh, have done that about a million times because, you know, you put them in the wrong order that when you start to build them and everything. And you end up with this goofiness, and it's like, ah, oh, shoot. And you press Control-Z, but unfortunately, we don't have an undo button for that particular oopsie that you just did there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this little zone here because it's nice and everything like that, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't do much for me. So one of the things that they added recently, I'm actually going to delete all these points too, is the ability to create point, uh, zones using different options. We have uh, define area rectangle. If I press control K, I can drag a box and let go. And then of course, after I've drawn the zone, check this out, you get a little thing lines. Do you want to create a zone entity from this defined area? Yes. Ice land. I'll go ahead and press OK. And you can see now that's gone ahead and created a zone from those pretty good points. Now, the cool thing here is I can still go over here and go, ha ha, and like do one of those things and everything works really, really well for us for that particular purpose. Now I'm done with this zone. It was, it, it was, a, it, this zone had a good run. It had a good run. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one too. I'm going to grab all these points here, control delete. And we're going to go ahead and uh, show you everybody's favorite. You got the circle, of course. You know, I go to click, you click and drag like this. Remember, you click and drag them from the center. You can always tap the escape key if you mess up that one. Again, so I'll go to the middle of Iceland. Let go. Wow, look at that one. Press OK. Ice. Land. Now I've done the uh, fancy uh, title version. And you can see, of course, that we have a million little points here. And I don't even want to imagine the calculations involved <laughs> and figure out exactly how this is. And if you actually look really, really closely here, these are straight lines. These are not curved. Uh, so um, they did save themselves a little bit of memory doing it that way. So that's all pretty routine stuff. Uh, we'll go back up here. We'll go ahead and delete that area. I mean, it was cool. It's cool. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. And of course, we'll delete these. But they added a few new th items. Uh, one, of course, is now we can draw polygons. So you can see this thing here, which is polygon control P. This is kind of fun. So the way this works is uh, we're going to go ahead and give this a name. We'll call it Ice Van. We'll press OK. And now what happens is it's going to bring up this new little thing here. This is Drawing Zone Polygon. Now, the way this works is you just click. So we're going to go ahead and define the shape of our polygon here. As with all polygons, uh, the more complicated you make it, there's going to be the more work on you to create it. So I'm going to go ahead and set the sucker up pretty relaxing here. Again, not going to do anything too crazy. Uh, there's some wonderful people over on the Discord. I'm thinking one really loudly right now, but I'm not going to say their name. Uh, who uh, really, really enjoys uh, making these uh, polygons uh, super duper detailed for uh, certain countries here. But uh, again, you can see there's my version of Iceland. <laughs> so what I'm done, I go ahead and now uh, I can press the escape key to cancel. And you can see there it is. Now I've given myself a much nicer, well, relatively speaking, a nicer version of Iceland here. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Those uh, polygons are definitely going to make things a little bit easier. Now, if you wanted to be a hilarious person, of course, you could come down here and uh, spawn in an aircraft like this. Uh, we can be really, 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 really mean and do one of these things because, again, it, this is what I love about programs like this. You can literally do anything with this. That looks pretty good to me. I don't know why this would be here, but, of course, we can do one of these. We can grab all these reference points because, again, I'm a terrible person. And, of course, we can make them all uh, relative fixed bearing to our little P8 here. Now, the advantage to this, of course, if I unfreeze time, ha-ha, look at that, Iceland follows the airplane. Uh, please don't do things like this. Um, your calculations involved to uh, move all that stuff is going to be so ferocious that if you try to run it at any really, really high rate, it's going to go nuts. But as you can see, um, unfortunately, um, I accidentally made my Poseidon uh, move all of Iceland here. <laughs> so as you can see, whoopsies, 
I did not want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, undo that because, um, of course, uh, we can't undo that. So I'm going to move relativity here. I'm going to delete my P8. And now I've got a huge problem. I've got this huge mass here, and I want to put it back where I found it. So uh, one of the cool things, of course, is uh, if you hold down the Shift key, you will notice now that you have the ability to move all of your points simultaneously. So what I can do is I can come to this corner of the island and go ahead and let go, and I've actually reset it. Now, one of the things you probably noticed is the stuff that was on this side of the island seems to be slightly distorted. Uh, one of the reasons I chose Iceland here is because this is a fantastic demonstration of what happens when you're working with a globe versus a flat surface. So unfortunately, uh, when these uh, things happen, it's going to mess your stuff up just a little bit. But the fact of the matter is I can still come in here at any point, just left click and drag to move a point, or I can shift click and drag and do the entire thing together. So again, that's a massive advantage. Now let's go ahead and uh, delete this little zone here. This one's uh, working pretty well for us so far today. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Stupid P8, way to ruin everything. All right, let's go ahead and uh, delete all those guys there. Man, I'm gonna get control delete because I'm lazy. Zoom out again. So now one of the cool things you can do now is if you press control, right click, uh, you're gonna notice that we have a couple of new options here. Um, we can define an area. So I'm actually gonna define an area of Iceland again. And I'm gonna let go. And it's gonna ask me, do I wanna create an area? Yeah, I do. Um, I land. Press OK. Ah, oh, sweet. Now, sometimes what happens when you're building areas is uh, you're like, I really just want one more point right here, but I don't want to add a point, delete the area, and then start over. So one of the things they've done is if you actually shift right click, you'll actually notice there's now the option to actually go ahead and do different things with an area. You can see we can select the reference points, we can rename it, we can delete it, we can also interpolate it. So if I come to interpolate and press double reference points, look what happens. You get a new set of points. Obviously, if you did 16x, you're going to get a few points here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my edge down here. I'll go grab this one, your Reykjavik, and pull that one in as well. Go ahead and pull that down right there. I'll make this a little bit higher. Ta-da! So you can see how incredibly valuable this tool is for the purposes of adjusting. Again, remember, I can hold down the shift, and I can move it around. I can delete it like this guy's just chilling. He's got to get back to Iceland proper here. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at another cool feature that they've added. Again, they're having way too much fun with this, so I, I think it's cool. So I'm going to grab myself an F16 here because, yeah, yeah because I can. Uh, BLK52, we're going to get the uh, have, have glass number two, grab that guy. We'll go ahead and put some of that stuff on him, Bel delightful. Now, if I left click on a unit now, watch what happens if I hold down shift and right click on a zone. You'll see now I can create missions using the zone dynamically. So if I wanted to, for example, obviously he's going to be an air control patrol here. So I'll do AAW, click on that one, and notice my F-16 was pre-selected and that area that I just had was also pre-selected, which now means I can do quick missions if I just want to right-click somewhere and order like an intercept. No, well, you couldn't do that. If I wanted to order a patrol mission or something like that, or, you know, a support or something like that, I can actually just do that right away on the map. The other option you have too, as you probably noticed here, is we have this pick area button. And if you click on that, you can actually now left click and select different areas. And there's a cool little filter button up here where you can actually adjust these different items to make it a little bit easier to identify which one of the 1 million areas that you have here. This area stuff is fantastic. And uh, people especially who do really hardcore mill sim planning, you know, like the people who actually, in the middle, you know, the folks. Um, it makes it much, much easier to control all those different types of areas. You, know, you have marshalling areas, and you have refueling areas, and you have uh, no control areas, and then you have SAM areas, and you have air defense areas. And I, like, you know exactly what I'm talking. It makes it much, 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 much easier from a scenario designer to set those all up without overwhelming the player. So as you can see, these are all really, really useful tools here. Uh, this guy, of course, is not going to fly into this area, and I'll start doing his little dude here. I'm going to go ahead and unpause here. Get over there. <laughs> Isn't that so awesome? Because now you can do that with groups. Uh, you can do that with all sorts of different things. Obviously, I can't pick my little airport here and uh, right-click and say create mission here because that's not going to do much for me for that particular purpose because, as you probably know, this is going to do it. Uh, one thing I do want to throw out here, and uh, this is uh, really, really important. I should always establish this, is if you take a look at what build that I'm currently on at this time, uh, this is actually one of the beta builds, 13231. Some of this might change, and I'm sure that there's a couple little things that here and there they're going to kind of tweak. But otherwise, this is another fantastic way to make it a little bit easier to control everything you're doing in command. Enjoy.